Okay, so good, so good. So hey, um, Silviero. So still, and I, I know you're here first, Myra, but I want to take care of Silviero and get this situated. Hi, Silviero, make sure you click the red mute button. Okay, Silviero? Okay. All right, maybe okay. not. Okay. So, Silviero, is everything better now? Is your microphone yes, working uh, well? Yes, okay. that's now it's working. Okay, good, Silviero, good, good. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Myra, the, the nice to see you again. Thank you. It's okay. Uh, we, we know the expression, no see you. Same thing. Oh. So you see the expression even uh, you don't see the person you are speaking to? Yes. Very, very common, you know. Um, nice to see you again. You know, you can also say nice to nice to hear from you. Okay, you know, nice to hear your voice again. But yeah, we usually just in here. Nice, nice to see you again. Okay, even though it's not correct. Okay, it's not correct. It's just common. You know, but people really don't use it on the uh, use it on the phone. But on Skype, on Skype, it usually uh, Skype Hangouts and stuff. Um, you know, it's kind of common. And what's funny is, uh, you know, these modern technology, wow, wow, there's a great article out about how modern technology is changing or is changing uh, the English vocabulary and so forth. Um, let me see here. So, Silviero, I thought everything was fixed. So, Silviero, no no moving around. Hey, um, Sudar Harsan, let me, let me tell you what the problem is, okay? All right. Okay. You don't. Okay. Yeah. So, so Sudarasan, you can't be like in the chat all the time, just going absolutely nuts, posting your email address, everything else. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. This okay, isn't. Right. Yeah. This isn't yeah, like yeah. some sort of place to date. You know, things like that. I'm sure people will find yeah. love here and everything else, but just slow down a little bit. Okay. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Okay. 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 Good, good, yeah. good. Good. No, not you, Sylvia, no, but you, Sudarsan. I really no. feel bad. No, it's okay. Both of you guys are okay. Here, here, guys. Here, let, me, let me show you. Okay, here, come here, guys. Come here. Let, let me give you. I'll give you both a digital hug. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Here, here, I'll, I'll, I'll pat both of you out of your heads. Okay. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. No yes. problem. Okay. Everybody's okay, you know. And, and by the way, guys, it's, it's not it's not that I get so upset. It's just I have to make sure I facilitate these uh, these classes. Discipline, okay? Yeah, so yes. it's more for digital the discipline. Students. It's more for the other students. Digital discipline, okay? I mean, I, I trust okay, me. I can, I can take a you, lot. But... You know, I've uh, I've unfortunately been through a fair amount in my life, so I can handle. Um, you know, a few few folks. I, you won't see me with the face like this. Okay, all right. So let me let me say hi to everybody else. Myra, welcome back. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And hey, Anna. Hi, Anna. You, you've Anna. It's okay. You've had hello. some problems with. Hello. Hi, Anna. Good. You're smiling. So yeah, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> you had a you guys Silviero and Suter said chill out, okay? So let me help Anna because she's having a few problems, okay? So Anna, make sure you close the Colingo window, okay? Is the Colingo window open? Leave the Google Plus Hangout window open. Alright? But close the Colingo window in case you have it open, alright? Okay. Okay. Yeah, because it's still it's still kind of going on. Yes. A, it's still. Is it working okay. now? Uh, yeah, there's still a little bit of static, but that's that's okay. All right. Hello? So, where are you from? Uh, yes. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, yeah. Where are you from? Is this my? You from where? Is it working now? Um, it's uh, 
it's it's getting uh it's a, yeah so here just wait one second okay all right okay by the way uh, I think Sarah was talking to you about this maybe you Myra here here's a uh, okay so Anna Anna just one one moment Anna just keep Anna keep your microphone muted Anna okay. Relax, just one moment. I'll help you. I promise, Anna. So, sorry when you asked the question about, um, <clears throat> excuse me, about how uh, you know if it's okay see you again, even though we don't actually see each other. Well, I gave you a link here if you want to take the time to read that a little bit later on or whatever. You don't have to, but it talks about you know how all these different modern tools, especially like Twitter, how it it's changing e the English language. Right? Okay. Wow. Here, let me let me see what they are. So, Anna, Anna, do you have an do you have earbuds or a headset, Anna? It's okay. And let me show you what earbuds what? are, Anna. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. So here, Anna. Okay, and I know I know you're new. Okay. So do you have earbuds, Anna? Hello. Or do, hello, Anna. Yes. Do you have earbuds like this you see on the screen, or do you have headphones? Is this work? No. Yeah, wow, Anna, Anna, I'm, I'm, you're you're making me go deaf. Anna, Anna, stop one second, okay? All right, it's okay, Anna. So, do you have? Look at my screen, okay? Do you have headphones, or do you have earbuds that you can use? There we go. So good. Good. So Silviero, what's that sound, Silviero? Sorry? What's Hello? the sound coming from? Yeah, Silviero, what's that sound? Uh, this is the motor, motor, motorbike. Okay, but Silviero. Motor, okay. okay. Yeah, Silviero, you have to you have to be in a quiet environment, so mute yourself when you're not speaking, okay? Okay, thank right. you. So, Sorry. Yeah, and Anna, wow, guys. Guys, I'm sorry. I have no control right now of what's going on. Um, if you guys don't take control of your microphones and stuff, I'm just going to have to knock you out of class, okay? I, I don't know what else to do at this point. Silviero, stay muted, okay? Anna, yes, I Anna. Yeah, no, I know you're here, but stay muted. We don't need to hear the stuff in the background. Anna, okay, there's a lot of noise coming from you. If you can understand me, shake your head yes, up and down. Can you hear me, Anna? Okay. So, Anna, what you have to do is you have to get a headset, okay? So you have to get one of these or you get those earbuds like I was showing, okay? This or earbuds, otherwise no class, okay? Because there's too much there's too much echo. Can you hear me? I can I can hear you. That's not the problem. Okay. So yeah, Anna. Okay, so hmm. Okay, maybe she's gonna do something else there. Okay. Wow. Here, here go your earbuds. Okay. Okay. Anna. All right. So okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna work through a few of uh, Aesop's fables here. All right. We're not going to end up writing our own, all right? Or who knows? Maybe we'll write our write a fable about the loud classes today, all right? So let's see if Anna can get things working, all right? Uh, please, Mister, um, hmm? is fable means a story? Yes, it's a it's a story, but it also has a a purpose. Okay, all right. So yes, there's always a meaning, meaning to these, instead of just being like a short story that, you know, maybe just to tell about something. There's always some sort of moral, okay, some sort of purpose to all of these. Okay. So it is um, 
uh, times or uh, most of the time for the children to know or to learn uh, morals? Exactly, exactly, exactly. And do you have, uh, in your native tongue, do you have fables as well? You must, right? Do you have fables? Yes, or of course. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay, good, good, good. Have you ever heard of Aesop's fables? Uh, uh, excuse me, what? Is, uh, okay. uh, what's written here is it's yeah, not fable, Aesop. no, it's first mm -hmm. time. Yeah, no, it's so the first time. Are, Yep, so these are uh, some of the more, uh, excuse me, <laughs> these are the most well-known of, uh, of the fables. Okay. Is this the name of the writer or what? Uh, yeah, and this goes way back, you know. So we can look here at Aesop's fables, okay? So this is a From which a country, Aesop? Oh, no, this is way, way back. This is ancient Greece. Okay, all right. Yes. Okay. So he was, yep. So he was a uh, a slave back in ancient Greece, all right. And then he was able, you know, this is BCE, right? Okay. Yes. So a long time ago. So it's it's been translated, um, you know, through the years, all right. And there's one, um, the frogs in the well. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, okay. Well, there's another one that I'll, I'll have you guys read. Okay, so so good, good, good. Let's, uh, let's see who else is here. So, Anna, are things working better now, Anna? Okay. Hello, Abner. Hi, Abner. Nope, okay. All right, so we'll start out here. I'm going to start right to left. Uh, Sudar Harsan, can you read this, The Frogs in the Well? Yeah, one minute, sir. One minute, uh, I can't see the window, sir. One well, minute. It's okay. I, I I gave you the link as well in the uh, in the you chat. The Colingo, Colingo yep. chat. The the best the place minute, to sir. be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 But uh, you know, let me let me let me do this. Yeah, no worries. Let me do this as well. So let me see how how nice. Or if this loads well. Um, hmm. Jeez, oh, Pete's. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so um, so Silviero, can you can you read this for us, please? Two frogs live together in a marsh. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Sorry, I. Yeah, and hey, I hey, don't Anna. see. I don't see the camera. Yeah. So hey, I don't Anna. See the, 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 the slide. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, Silviero, you you can't see okay. uh you can't see what's on the screen. You can't see the link that I provided. Yes. Yes, I can see. Okay. Uh, okay. From the beginning. Or? Yeah, from two two frogs live together in a marsh. Uh, okay. Two two frogs live together in a marsh, but one hot summer. The marsh dried up, and they left it to look for another place to live in. For folk like them, place they can get the. By and by, they came to deep well, and one of them looked down to it and said to another, "This look as nice, cool place." Let us jump in a settle here. But the other who had a wisher hit on. Okay. All right. I'll just I'll just finish this up here.
Okay, but the other one who had a wiser head on his shoulders replied, Not so fast, my friend. Supposing this well dried up like the marsh, how should we get out again? All right, so has anybody ever heard of this, Look Before You Leap? No, this is the first time to hear about it. Yeah, so look, look before you, you leap. You want to make sure that you just don't jump into things, okay? Look before you leap. You want to see the situation that's going on. Um, Myra, what do you think about that? Are there times in life where you should just not worry, not uh, have a parachute? So they say like a parachute. Just an expression, okay? So you know a parachute. They say, you know, would you ever would you ever leap without a parachute? Where you have something that's gonna hold you back if something bad happens. What do you think, Myra? Do you ever live your life where you uh where you don't look before you leap, where you don't plan everything, where you act foolish and just kind of do something? No, I I don't think so much in, in that stuff. You know, if, if something happens, I don't think and think and think, and maybe I, for some reason, lose uh, opportunity or something like that. But you have to take a time for that. But in my, my case, I take uh, just a, a minute, a day, for think the the stuff. I think it's mm -hmm. not to do in right in the uh, how do you say that? Uh, um, in that moment so far so you think a moment yep. to think <laughs> yep so so a lot of it and, and it's good too it's good and, and by the way however you live your life is is good as long as you know obviously you're, you're um you're being good to others right okay some people kind of get care too much about other people how they're living their lives um, but yeah so so you like to be a little carefree you don't like to get into what you call the paralysis of analysis okay have you ever heard of either of you ever heard of this no what's the this yeah so this is this is the um, so you know look before you leap make sure that you look at everything see how everything is uh, is gonna going to work out but also too so paralysis that's when you can't move okay that's when you can't move all right okay no so movement the, um, mm -hmm. okay does it mean if you think too much you will paralyze? yeah you'll lose out on things so that that's like um, Myra was talking about you know you don't want to miss out on the opportunities right if you have this paralysis of analysis, then you know, yeah, you look before you leap, but if you look too many times, you're going to miss something. You know? So, yep. So, good. Good. Yep, you all are doing well. So, that's the paralysis of analysis, right? So, um, you just kind of want to leap and just believe that things are going to happen. Okay, so good. Good, good. So, uh, so I, I think maybe in our generation, we don't always worry so much about looking before you leap. How, how about you, uh, Sara? Do you yes, kind of just do uh, things or do you worry a lot? Mm -hmm. mm. You're, you're, little, you're coming in a little broken up. Okay. All right. And by the way, uh, Sarah, let me... Or sorry, let me give you this, okay? So there's a good link here. So maybe try setting that later. Might help out a little bit and adjust your bandwidth a little bit, Sarah. Hey, Silviero, can you just stay muted when you're not when you're not speaking? Just keep the red microphone on, okay? Wow. Okay, so any other comments about this story from anybody? No? Okay. Me so. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Go ahead. Sir? Yep, go ahead. Go ahead. So, this is, I, I can't see the, it's paralysis by analysis. Mm -hmm. um, it's good that you want to engage in that issue. Good for you, but first, don't do anything until you exactly what you are doing. That action is right. I can tell you horror stories. 
of people who made things worse by telling to do trying to do right thing first do not harm i mean it's like me i can take an example of my sir me me sir because i'm answering the question but i'm also going apart from the subject i'm just going with too much of subject so it's like that so it's um it's not a harm, no but no, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't equate, and, and I don't mean to laugh at you, that's just not the point, but I would definitely not equate it to that, okay? What paralysis okay. of analysis is, yeah. is let's say I'm going to start a new business, okay? okay? All right, mm -hmm. and what I do is I get out all these different charts, you know, all these different things, you know, and I'm trying to figure out, okay, what's the right direction, how do I do this, everything else, and what happens is I get to the point where, um, I'm paralyzed, okay, and I, I hope there's nothing bad here, but unfortunately, this is what paralysis is, okay, all right, where you can't move, all right, okay, so paralysis of analysis, where you can't move because you're thinking, you're thinking about things too much, all right, and you need to go forward, all right, so that's that's more what it is. It's okay. I know you're trying to draw a parallel to that, but that one that one's not the same. Okay. No uh, no worries. Let's get let's get on to this next one here. All right. Okay. So the ant and the dove. Okay. And let me give out this link here. Okay, so uh, go ahead, Sarah. Can you read this one? Okay. An ant went to the. Sorry, it's not. It's okay, and also in the okay. in the chat. Okay. I'll give it to you in the chat, and just in case. Okay, I can okay. see now. I can see. Okay. An ant went to the bank of a river. No, it's not clear. Mm -hmm. Not clear. It's okay. Look in the. the you can look in the chat. Mm -hmm. I, I know, and it, so it's just because your internet connection. So look in the chat, and then click on the link, and that'll bring it up for you. And you can read the story there. Okay, it's all right. Okay, okay, I can read now. And and put the bank over river lunch to her. The ant climbed onto it and floated in safety to the bank. Yeah, hey Sarah. Hi Sarah. For, for some reason your, uh, well not for some reason, but your internet connection is really bad, okay Sarah? It's okay. Oh, you can't hear Stay. me? Okay, it's okay. What, what happens is it just gets, it just, um, the, the voice keeps going in and out. Okay, but no, no problem, no problem. You can still join in the discussion. For some reason, when you're reading it, it keeps going in and out. Uh, my, yeah, a little bit of lag. Uh, Myra, can you uh, can you continue reading here, or just start reading here? And Aunt went to the bank. Uh, okay, and Aunt went to the bank of a river to quench its thirst, and being carried away by the rush of the stream, was on the point of drawing. A dove sitting on a tree overhearing uh, no, uh, the water plunk a uh, leaf and left it fall into the stream close to her. The ant climbed, uh, climbed onto, oh, it's not clear, in a float its safety to the bank. Shortly afterwards, a big <laughs> Sorry, it's a hard vocabulary to me. Um, a bird culture mm -hmm. came and stood under the tree and let let him lie to no. Sorry, teacher, it's, uh, okay. it's okay. And lay, laid his lime twigs, lime twigs. It's okay. Uh, for the bow, which sat in the branches, the end. Perceiving his design, stung him into the foot. In pain, the bird car carter threw down the twin 
twigs. Twigs. Mm -hmm. twigs. And the noise <laughs> made the dove take wings. Wings. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yep, so good. <laughs> no, no, no worries. No worries, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right? Okay, and hey, <laughs> hey, Silviero, just just stay uh, muted though when you're not when you're not speaking. It's okay, all right. Yes. Yeah, so, so um, yeah. So let's uh, let's go in here. So uh, bank of a river. Okay, so let's kind of pull some of this over here. Okay. So you have a river bank. Okay. So this is the bank of a river. This is along the side along the side of the river these are the banks of the river okay and quench quench means he wants to drink wants to quench his thirst so if you're thirsty you want to quench your thirst so rush rush the stream so this is fast moving water okay alright so a dove so this is a dove here okay so this is what a dove looks like um, alright so a dove Pluck the leaf, okay. Let it fall in the stream. So you can imagine this little, um, so leaf floating river, okay. So this ant was on. Remember, it's a small ant. So he's on this floating leaf, okay. And then here it came to its safety, it came under its tree, and the dove which sat in the branches, okay. So, in here, the um, there's a bird catcher. So a bird catcher is somebody who wants to catch the dove. All right. So you have a bird catcher here, he wants to catch the dove. Okay. So, so this is a bird catcher. Hmm? Go ahead. Uh, excuse me. Um, a bird catcher is a, a human being or another bird uh, uh, eats uh, birds. Um, I think it would just be another human, it would just be a human being, or maybe the bird catcher. Yeah, I think it's just a, uh, just a human being here. Yeah, because it stung him in the foot. Okay? Yep. Okay. Okay, but I'm not, not really sure here. So let's just, let's just check in here. So bird catcher. I don't know if it'll be in here. Okay. Hmm, somebody's Facebook is going off. Okay. I think it would just be a person here. Yeah, so it's just going to be a... Yeah, just to catch birds, okay? So not another bird. All right, so what happened is, um, you know, the dove helped out the uh, ant and then the ant helped out the dove so one good churn deserves another so if you help somebody then they have to help you back hey Silviero I've asked you to stay muted I don't I don't know why it's so hard for you to do that okay so let's uh, let's keep going on in here um, so okay so what do you think about this one here and hello, Buna. Hi, hello. Buna. Hello, yes. Hi, teacher. <laughs> hey, welcome to class, Buna. How are you? Yes, I'm doing well. And you, teacher? Oh, long time no see you. I have a bit condition. Yeah, it's okay. No problem. No problem. So, Buna, did you, do you know what a fable is? A fable? F-A-B-L-E? No. Sorry, I don't know. Okay. It's a uh, story that has a meaning to it, okay? All right, and I know most stories do, but this one has a meaning or what they call a moral, all right? So Aesop was a famous person with these, uh, with these, with these morals, or pardon me, that, that would tell these fables, okay? So you might, did you hear this fable? Did you understand this fable? Yes, uh, I understand a little to you. Mm -hmm. So what yeah, do you yes. think of this fable? So you know the, the moral is one good churn deserves another. So do you think if you do something good for somebody that they should do things good for you as well? Oh, I guess not. Wow. Okay. Hello, Abner. Hi, Abner. 
Yeah, Abner, make sure you make sure you unmute your microphone, okay? Okay, can I say something, please? Oh, please, yes, definitely, definitely, sir. Hello. Go ahead, sir. Okay. It's, it's here two points. If you uh, number one, if you um, um, if you see somebody or um, you should help help him or her, um, and in return you will find in a situation or um, in your life that someone will help you. Number mm -hmm. two, um, uh, if you are helped by someone else, you should help him. Some people um, can be can be helped by um, another uh, other people, but they they um, they don't return the favor, or or they they um, they don't uh, do the good thing uh, to people who uh, who, made, who made or made good things to them. Yep. Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Uh, number two. Uh, okay. And the, um, no matter the small thing you did. Um, it, the ant is very small, but it made a huge thing for uh, um, it saved the life of the dove. So no matter the size is, um, you can do very big thing to others. Yep, yep, very good, very good, very good, excellent, excellent, uh, excellent, Sarah, excellent, very, uh, yeah, no, you're you're welcome, eh? No, I really, uh, I really enjoy. Uh, <coughs> Students Hello, that, that have analysis that. like that. Very, very good. Very good. Excellent. And also, too, one thing. Um, one thing I've asked people. I know. I know this seems kind of weird, but it's all. It's along the same lines. So, uh, so you don't have to turn your camera on. But just so, just just put your hand out, okay? Put your, put your hand out like that. Ah, it's kind of hard to. It's kind of hard to see right here. So yeah, just just put your hand out. So Buna, put your hand out. Everybody, put your hand out. And then do do this, okay? Do that, okay? Then put your hand out again, okay? And then do this, okay? All right. Now, now do this, okay? Do that same motion, but instead of pulling in, do this, okay? All right. So which which one of those took more effort? Okay, which which one of those took more effort, right? So Buna, Buna, which one which one required more effort? Okay, I guess you're fine. Anyway, uh, how about you, Sarah? Could you hear, or was uh, Silviero going crazy? So what? Excuse me. Maybe Silviero. Mm -hmm. Which one takes more effort to pull something in or to give something out? I think the ant did uh, uh, more uh, more uh, the the dove because it's very small. But that mm -hmm. it, um, it didn't know not it's not so heavy. The, the leaf is not so heavy, so the dove didn't uh, do. Um, a very big effort, like the ant. Mm -hmm. Yep, got it, got it, got it. You know, you know, ants are very strong too, right? You know, they can carry like uh, ten or maybe a hundred times their own body weight, something, something crazy like that. But good, very good analysis. Okay, uh, and how about you, Myra? Anything you want to say about this fable? Uh, that. Uh when you do something for someone, uh, you you do it because it's a good thing, or you know it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you receive something and change that. You know, you do bec you do it because it's a good thing. You don't have to uh, wait to anyone do something for you. You don't have to wait that because most of the people don't think <coughs> the same way that you do. So. If you want to do something for anyone, do it. If you think that it's good, it is something to help the other one, uh, just do it. You, uh, yep. by yourself, you want to feel good. It doesn't yep. matter if you receive something or not. Yeah, so, so do you think a lot of people these days, what they want to do is they, they do something, expecting something else in return? Yeah, oh, for example, I do that. I think that maybe no, uh, because always I have to wait uh, something for 
for the other person. It's like, uh, okay, at least uh, uh, thank you or yes, but now the people don't do that now. Yep, yep, yep. Got it, got it. And uh, I, I just shared a link with you. There's this excellent book by this guy, Hiram Smith. Okay, and number 10 on here, you know, it says give more and you'll have more. It's what they call the abundance mentality. And it's where you, and, and by the way, this guy, his, his book, I know, I know there's all these self-help books. This isn't a self-help book, okay? This is just putting your life into reality of what's most important to you, then you do it. But but what he also wanted to do is, is tell people about this, is give more and you'll have more. All right, and if you, if you have if you have time, you can take a look at it. I don't know if it goes into the explanation here as much, but it really is. It's giving without expecting in return. So with that dove, that's what he did, right? You know, he didn't expect anything in return, but but instead he did get something. Okay, good good analysis by both of you. And uh, Sudar, our son, what what about you? What do you think about this fable? What's sir? I can't yeah. see it properly, yes. It's okay. Have you been listening to us, or have you been have you been petting yeah, your I, dog? Yeah, I was listening. I was listening, but I I couldn't see. I couldn't listen. I couldn't uh, listen it properly. It was something like some sort of sound was coming. Oh yeah, I think that was from the other guy. Okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, actually, let's uh, let's go let's go on to the next one here. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll so refresh, refresh it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No problem. And I'll just I'll leave this up here so we can read off of this because I think it's a little bit easier for everybody. It's a little bit larger. Okay. And I'll give you guys the link. All right. So, um, hello, Bruno. Hello. Hi. How are you, Bruno? Uh, I'm fine, thanks. Okay. Good. Welcome to class, Bruno. Bruno, Good what we're doing you. is we're Yep, you're welcome. We're reading about fables. So fable is a story with a moral or a meaning to it, okay? Aesop's okay. fables were written a long, long time ago, okay? Um, okay. And, and basically they, they still lasted throughout time for teaching people different morals and so forth. Where are you from, Bruno? Um, Brazil. Okay, good, good, good. Welcome to class. Hello, Amar. Hi, Amar. Hi, how are you? Uh, doing well, Amar. Doing well. Welcome to class. And where are you from, Amar? Iraq. Okay, good. Good, good. Well, welcome. Welcome. And hey, hey. Abner. Yep, you're welcome. Hello. Abner. Hi, Abner. How are you? So good. How are you? Welcome to, doing well. Doing well. Welcome okay. to class, Abner. I, I see you have everything figured out now. So good. And where are you from, Abner? Okay. Brazil. Okay, good. Sao Paulo. Good, good. Okay. Late night in Brazil, but plenty of people here, so that's good. It's good. Okay, so let's uh, let's just continue on here. So Bruno, Bruno. Okay. Hi, Bruno. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bruno. Can you read what's in front of you? Can you yes. read what's in front of you? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, a man who wanted to buy an ass went to market and come across a likely looking beast, arranged with the owner that he should be allowed to take him home on trial to see what he was like. And when he, he should go home, he put him in, into his stable along with the on ass. Uh, the newcomer took a look around, around and immediately, immediately and went and chose uh, and placed next to the laziest and greediest beast in the stable. Uh, when the master saw this, he put a halter on his, him at once and led him off and handed him over the, his owner again. The latter was good deal, surprised, him, surprised to see him back so soon and said, why? Do you mean to say you have tested him already? I don't want to put him through any more tests, replied the other. Uh, I could see what sort of beast he is from the companion he shoots for yourself. 
Okay. Okay. So, mm -hmm, yep. So good. So good. So this one's a little bit, little bit more different. And we all know an ass is a donkey, right? Okay. All right. And um, you know the uh, they were also the the beasts that really uh, had a lot of commerce and trade and stuff like that. Anyway, I don't need to get into this. So, and here, what this is, a man is known by the company he keeps. All right. So, uh, so Bruno. Hi, Bruno. What? So, Bruno, are your are your friends the people you hang around with? Are they really nice people? Or are they mean people? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're very nice people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. 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 And uh, how about you, Amar? The people you hang around with are they are they nice people, mean people? What are, what are they like? Nice people, almost. Almost all of them are nice people, but you know sometimes a few bad people, right? Yeah, I don't uh, hang out with bad people. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. Just keep with it. Uh, nice people. How, how about you, Abner? Okay, nice people. Nice people. Okay, no, nobody here hangs out with bad people. Okay, um, Sudarhar son, how about you? Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty complicated, you know, in this world. I I have I see bad people and the good people too. No, but I the on. people that I, I, you hang on. out with, yeah, good people. Mm. Very good. You people. hang out with good people. Okay. Very good people. So yes. Yeah. Yeah, so th this is like it says, somebody who's known by the company he keeps, okay? The yeah. company he keeps. Okay, can yeah. I say something, please? Oh, go ahead, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, um, yes, the man um, is known by the company he keeps, but sometimes I find an example. Uh, I know someone, uh, uh, he, uh, my nephew. Um, he ha he is very good, but he has a, a friend or two. Um, they are not good as him, but he. Uh, I told him not to be friend with with him, but he said he told me that he wanted to help him to be better, and he he refused to to let to let him go. Uh, I um, I find this. Uh, and he didn't become, uh, and he uh, didn't become, uh, or uh, yes, become like him, or his friend. He tried. Mm -hmm. He is trying to to uh, make his friend better. Mm -hmm. Yep, he's trying okay. to be a good influence. They call it a good influence. Yeah. Okay. If you, for example, mm -hmm. if you apply this this uh, saying on him, you will say that he is a bad guy. But he is is the exact opposite. He he is trying to to make his uh, his friend uh, better. Yep. Very good point. Very good point. Very good point. Okay. Very good. So uh, okay. uh, not always. Uh, uh, t um, it's not always um, the appearance is correct. And, uh, if you see someone is talking to another and you uh, consider this one is not good as this one, you will ru or mm -hmm. judge him that he is not. Is not good man or, mm -hmm. or girl. Yep. No, and I, and I'm I'm listening to you. And very good point. Uh, anyone else? It's okay, guys. Any anybody else? Any other opinions on this? Uh, anybody? I, I'm mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. I am. Go ahead. I agree with Sarah because many people. Um, just try to uh, help his friend. He really thinks the other person is his friend. He he knows that he's doing something bad, but you want to to help her, help him. So uh, here uh, you can say something like, uh, "Don't judge a book by its cover." Or no, they say that. Don't it's don't like don't judge a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Yeah. Like many many the. the you think that uh, you know a person and she's friends, so it's not the same. It's not, they are not the same person. Maybe they mm -hmm. are different. Okay. And someone are good, and one are bad. But uh, with Sarah said, it's like uh, someone have to, uh, want to help the other ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. 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 And there, there's another Scorpion. one here. Yeah. Scorpion. There's also another one. 
Yeah, let me let me uh, let me let me kind of talk here a little bit, uh, Sudarsan, and I'm I'm not doing things at random here. Okay, so so like they say along the same lines. Okay, is what we say along the same lines, right? Um, there's also another fable he had. So so your your points are are very well founded and they're they're understood. Um, for both of you, okay. So, also too, though, there's the story of the scorpion and the frog, and let's let's look at the scorpion and the frog, and let's think about, you know, about changing people. If people can be changed, what it, whatever their case in here. Let's take a look at this one, and then we'll analyze this, okay? Amar, hi, Amar. Hi. Hi, Amar. Can you read this one here? Yes, yeah, sure. Another one of Aesop's fables. Go ahead. Okay, the scorpion and the frog. Scorpion and the frog meet on the bank of stream, and the scorpion asks the frog to carry him across on its back. The frog asks, "How do I know you will not you won't think me?" The scorpion says, "Because if I do, I will die too." The frog it's uh, the frog is satisfied, and they sit out. But in the midst of dream, the scorpion stings the frog. The frog feels. Hey, the um, yeah. By by the way. Can you can you try to keep a quiet environment, Amar? Okay, I understand we all have kids. It's okay. Yep. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay, Amar. Uh, the frog feels the onset of the paralysis and start to sing, knowing they both will drown. But has just enough time to guess why the place the scorpions. It's my nature. Okay. So so again here, what happened is you had a frog. Okay, let me make sure that we have this in pictures, okay? So, um, so yeah, you have a frog. Okay. So this is the frog here. And you have a scorpion. Okay. So in this little scorpion, right, this little scorpion sitting on a small island. Let me see if we can do this in a river. Okay, so yeah, so just uh, it's kind of hard. Uh, it's going to be smaller. May maybe something like this, right? So he's on this size, or maybe this size here. So here's where the scorpion lives, and all of a sudden the water's coming up, right? Okay, the water's coming up. So he needs him to carry him on his back to the other side. All right, but what happens is, you know, this this frog's like, "Are you kidding me? You'll sting me." No, because if I do. I will die too. So if I sting you while you're swimming, then I'm gonna die. So the frog, you know, he's thinking everything's okay, right? Okay. So all of a sudden he feels this paralysis. Remember, we talked to paral talked about paralysis. It's where you can't move. All right. So he starts to sink, and they're just about going down. And then this frog asks, "Why? Like, why would you sting me?" And the scorpion replies, "It's in my nature." It's the type of person that I am. Okay, so, all right. So, so what do you all think about this? You know. So, I mean, the, by by the way, the moral of the story is not out here for you. Can somebody tell me what is the moral of the story? And we don't have to agree with it, just like we don't have to agree with the last one. But what is the moral of the story? Can somebody tell me? Okay, um, I think it's, it's don't trust um, someone that you know that he um, he is not trusted or she is not trusted. Mm -hmm. I, yep. This is my opinion. yep. Exactly, exactly. So you know you know if something's bad, you know if somebody's bad, don't don't think that they can be good even based upon the situation, right? It's, you know? uh, I think so it's good. your fault here. It trust uh, uh, someone that you know um, I, 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 that you are sure that he is not trusted. He's not trustworthy. Yep. It, mm -hmm. it, it's your fault here, not not his or her fault. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I think it, there's, it's there's not a... enough. It's not enough what we say. It's what we do. Is what is, mm -hmm. is matter here is not we can say anything everything, but maybe you know the person and you know this not 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 good so it's better to trust in in, in the 
what you do and yep. not what you say. Yeah, when they when they have actions, actions. speak louder than words. Mm -hmm. This is just yep. I wanted okay. to say. Yes. Yep. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, sir, who else? So Lorenzo, Lorenzo, what do you think of this fable? Do you understand this? Do you understand what a fable is and moral? Yep. Do not trust your enemy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm. I'm. Yes. I'm just ready. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Good. I, I don't. I don't read the story. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. I don't really sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sudara said, <laughs> but <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at you. But what is going on here? I mean, Sudara said, yeah. If you don't read the story and you're not paying attention in class, no, 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 don't, no, 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 no. Don't, don't. I read the story. Mm -hmm. So, so no, what's he, he, I, he he said that uh, he 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 was known to complete the sentence. Uh, I said it's story. <laughs> okay, but, but if I'm talking, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but let me let me figure that out. Okay, all right. It's okay. no problem. I re actually I really enjoy teaching people. Okay, all right. I, I do Sadarson. Okay. Pardon. Right. I'm sorry. I think you can tell the tone of my voice and you know my actions and so forth. Okay, so let Very me figure fair. out with him. Let me figure out with yeah. him. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. Okay, don't uh, don't make me sting you, um, Lorenzo. Yeah. So Lorenzo, do you know what a fable is? No. No. Okay. No. So Lorenzo, where where are you from? I'm from Mexico. Okay. Good. 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 Is this your first time in Colingo? Uh, uh, not my first time, but I'm okay. a beginner. Okay, no problem. But Lorenzo, um, try to make sure that you come into class on time. Okay, <laughs> okay, and then try not to come into classes. Uh, you know, 50 minutes after they've started, and it's okay. It's all right. I know. I know. I'm just helping you here, okay? Mm -hmm. Because what happens is you come into class, and then you won't understand the class, right? Yeah. Okay, unless you've been watching it, okay? So it's okay. So for now, just just kind of watch what we're doing, okay? No problem. All right. So let's continue on. So how about you, Abner? Do you understand this? What, yes. what do you think of this? Yeah, that's that's a very good. Very good story. Um, mm -hmm. Some people um, think that people don't ch never change, but mm -hmm. that's uh, I don't agree with that. Uh, people for me, it's always changing. And mm -hmm. That's okay. the the spirit of this story. Okay, so so uh, never give up on somebody, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, yeah. um, mm -hmm. go ahead. Don't Please judge understand, people. Understand, um, understand, never give up on somebody. What does it mean? Oh, what it means is, you know, so... Uh, and I thought it, I thought I was going to be in here. So, um, but what it means is, you know, always keep working on somebody. So let's say if somebody's a bad person, never give up. Always try to make them better. Okay. And if okay. we look at this fable, this fable really says, you know, the exact opposite, right? Okay. It's in that person's nature. It's the yeah. way they are. So you should give up on them, right? Okay. Okay. Yep. So, so this one in here. So Abner is saying, don't give up on somebody. Just like, um, just like Sarah, your nephew, your nephew with the, uh, with this, this bad seed or this bad kid. You know, he's trying to be a good influence. He's not giving up on him. And the reason I brought up the scorpion and the frog is because, you know, if you look at the scorpion and the frog, you say, when well, I wait wait, isn't this person, you know, that he's trying to help, isn't he always going to be bad? And that's what the story of the scorpion and the frog is. It's in a person's nature. They're just bad. That person is just bad. Okay, so good. And again, just different thoughts and different ways to look at this, okay? 
Uh, yeah, Sudar, Sudar uh, said, um, yeah, think yeah, before yeah. you do. That that goes back to the first one. That goes back to yeah. the first one here. The frogs in the well, look before you. Yeah, leave. yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have to answer now because now I answered, but I, I could see that before. <laughs> so I didn't enter no, that before. No, no problem, no problem, okay? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, and Karim says, uh, I think you agree because basically human beings are good in nature. And yeah, guys, again, we, we don't have to believe everything in, in Aesop's fables, just like we don't have to believe everything that we read or that we hear, okay? But this yeah. is just stating here a, a thought on this, okay? So, hey, guys, um, you know what? I am going to cut this super short today, okay? And the reason why, let me just let me just check on something. I think there's not a teacher... Yeah, I don't think there's a teacher around for the next class, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop right now. Um, we're gonna have a conversation class coming up. I don't know, maybe we can talk about fables or whatever. Uh, let me let me. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? I'm gonna go ahead and close this class off now, just because, uh, like I said, there's no teacher for the next class. So I want to make sure that the teacher's there because usually people want to see. Um, I want to see a teacher every hour. Okay, so good. So Abner, uh, thanks for joining. Even though it's a little late, Lorenzo, make sure you get there on Thank time. You. Myra, another good class. Uh, Sara as well. And hey, Sudarison, um, just you got to slow down in class. Okay, all right. I'm I'm being pretty patient, but you have to slow down. Okay. I don't know if you're okay. drinking too much or what's going on. Okay, but just relax a little bit. Okay. Thanks, guys. Hope to see you all in the next class, okay? Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, sir. Hello, guys. Hey guys. Bye.